Hey everybody, it's Dan and Eddie, the Deathless Dogs. It's a good time to start thinking about what you're going to be buying for your whiskey-related friends around this holiday season. Our first recommendation here, which would just go for pretty much anybody who's even, like, just starting in whiskey or has been drinking forever, and that's just glassware. Like, a real nice Glencairn. You can never have too many of these. Even if somebody's got a bunch, they're never going to be upset about having another one because things happen, you drink, you can drop them, they break. You had one just explode while washing one once. Yeah, I had one, I was washing dishes, it was kind of hot water. I let it sit to soak for a little bit, and I went to wipe it off and the thing just like disintegrated. Yeah. It was strange, but it happened. This one is just plain. You can find these on like Amazon, anywhere, you can order them. You can find them anywhere. If you look at Eddie's, it's got a distillery name on it. And we've got a bunch with distillery names on it. And I think that's always a cool thing to look for if you go to a distillery, see if they have their own branded glassware. And then, especially if you're buying somebody a gift from there and you give them the glass with it, it's kind of the old one-two. One-two punch. Also, you don't have to just look at just Glencairns, too. I like a nice sturdy rocks glass. Generally, if I'm just drinking, I'm not drinking out of Glens at home, even. I've got like an old rocks glass that I use. You can get those like nice highball glasses, things like that, so. Kind of look at the way the person that you know drinks. Are they drinking on the rocks? Are they drinking straight? And then kind of base your uh, decision off of that. Glassware, always appreciated, always needed. This first bottle we're gonna put up here would work for somebody who's maybe just kind of interested in whiskey, maybe hasn't had too much but wants to get into it a little more. Or maybe there's somebody you want to get into whiskey. I think this brand is pretty user-friendly for people. And that is 1792. What we have here is the full proof. So that's gonna be a little burlier than maybe some like beginners would want. But the 1792 small batch I think is a great starting point for people getting into bourbon. Super sweet, it's got kind of like a banana bready kind of thing. Holds up nice on the rocks for people who are drinking like that. And it's pretty readily available nowadays as well. Most stores will have at least one or two of their different offerings. And they're pretty reasonably priced too. I think small batch is like between 30 and 35. Full proof isn't that much more. I think it's like maybe 40 to 45. I was gonna say, I think that sounds about right. Yeah, it's, it's really not expensive. And and it's solid quality stuff. This one would also be kind of a bridge from those like early whiskey drinkers to people who do appreciate whiskey quite a bit. The Remus Repeal Reserve. Older iterations of this bottle actually had a gift tag on the neck with a little to from thing on it. It's as if the distillery wanted you to give it to somebody who drinks whiskey. It's a beautiful bottle. It looks great. I think for the non-initiated would look at this bottle and go, whoa, this looks nice. You know, when they open it up for the people who are in the know are going to be like, oh, hell yeah, it's Remus Repeal Reserve. The knock on this that I'd say for a typical gift is that I think it's like in or around 90 bucks. Yeah, it's got to be someone you actually like that you're giving it to, <laughs> not just uh, whoever. Or, you know, maybe you got to get your boss a gift or something. I feel like this is a good boss gift. To oh, try to like gift, win right. win some favor with them, you know. If you can find batch five, that's the latest one. It's fantastic. But I've seen in a lot of stores older batches around. In the smaller stores, if you look around. If you're at your Total Wines and such, you probably aren't going to see old batches. But if you have like a small liquor store that you go to, check the shelf. You might find some older batches of this sitting. They'll run depending on the year, between like 70 to $90. So a little pricey, but you know, it's it's the season of giving. So not, this is the reason for the season. Yeah, not outside the realm of possibility. Now this is one of my favorite bottles that I think a lot of people would enjoy, not even like whiskey drinkers, but just people who are getting into it or people who recognize that Maker's Mark label in general. It's kind of got that holiday feel to it, you know, with the red wax and mm -hmm. the the fancy bottle shape. This is one that I would recommend for anyone. If you can find yourself a Maker's Mark 46 cast strength, you're gonna wanna jump on that. And honestly, if you find the non-cast strength, just the regular Maker's 46, that's also a good bottle. Around the holidays, a lot of times you'll see makers putting different things on the bottle too. One year they had like ugly Christmas sweaters they slipped over all of them. Oh yeah. Some of them will have like different dips on the top. Some they'll have like a bow or something. They know that like makers is kind of a Christmas gifty yeah. kind of whiskey. I feel like last year they did like a box of socks up near the top of the bottle. Do you oh, remember really? seeing that? I remember there was a box like yeah it was like hanging off the side 
I don't remember like looking at it to see what was in it. This bottle here is great. One of my best purchases of the year, I feel like. You've got that like wintry feel with the cinnamon, but also like a lot of those rich vanilla notes and, and it's got some spice to it. Something about Maker's Mark just does remind me of Christmas. This next one is another crowd pleaser for people who are into whiskey and i think it would also be one for someone who's kind of starting out maybe wants to bump it up in the proof level a little bit and that's old forester 1920. the old forester whiskey row series are fantastic bottles they're going to come in in the like 50 to 60 dollar range but depending on where you're finding it 1920 is like the winner in general public opinion as to which one is the best of that series we also really like 1910 1920 nice and sweet uh, bananas foster we compared it to just a really quality whiskey at like a very fair price also it should be noted that the label has slightly changed from this one this is the old label this next one personal favorite of mine a bottle that my shelf feels naked without like if there's not a wild turkey rare breed on the shelf it just doesn't look right their barrel proof offering of the like regular wild turkey line for us it's still hitting in the 30s most people aren't going to see it for less than about 45 and it's worth every penny of that it's just solid wild turkey flavor with that nice barrel proof like not crazy high only 116.8 but it's just a fantastic bottle i would say if you see these on the shelf i would take this over the kentucky spirit or the long branch or those other like upper tier regular wild turkey offerings i think this is the one to go for and I have seen lately there are some tubes floating around with the wild turkey in it. So maybe there's some holiday gift packaging. And I might have to go buy one of those just because I want the tube. You can't go wrong. A whiskey lover is going to be like, oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. In keeping with that wild turkey theme, if you've got somebody that you know likes wild turkey stuff, I would say bump them up to a Russell's Reserve single barrel. This one's gonna come in at about like 45 to 50 bucks in most places you find it. Russell's Reserve is like the upper tier wild turkey offerings basically. And the single barrel really shines. You could even go with the 10 year, the regular 10. If you find a Russell's 13, just send it to us. You we'll can, take that. We'll, we'll take that as a gift. You can send us, you know, we've still got it ours. It would be but... a very Merry Christmas <laughs> yeah. if someone does that. Russell's Reserve single barrel, one of our personal favorites again. Tobacco notes cherry flavors bold it's it's a heavy hitter but it's also something that you know any whiskey drinker is going to appreciate and it's a welcome addition to anybody's collection and if you're in your store and you see one of these guys that can also be a great gift as this is the store pick version of the single barrel label essentially the same thing they're both single barrels but this is one that your local store decided kicked ass more quality stuff from wild turkey a little more expensive than the regular stuff with the wild turkey name on it, but really not that much of a jump in price and just tremendous. I can't recommend it enough. The final bottle on our list is pretty much going to be only for people who are really into whiskey. It's got a heavy proof point on it and it's from a brand that there may be some like adverse feelings to, myself included, on that, but it is still a great gift. It is readily available. And if you've got a whiskey drinker in your life, everybody should at least once have a Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. A lot of stores have them, but they kind of sleep on the shelves. I consider this to be one of the best Jack offerings there is. One of the best Jack off. <laughs> a nice old fashioned. It is at barrel proof, so it's not your typical old number seven. Even me as a person who does not like Jack Daniels can appreciate that this is a cut above. Now, while I'm not a fan of it still, just because Jack has that thing, as we've discussed in our review of this, that just hits me weird in the finish. I did try this again a couple weeks ago, and the nose on this has opened up into just banana bread like it's amazing it smells so i would sit and just nose this all night and never <laughs> drink it from everybody i've talked to who has tried their like more limited stuff like the sinatra and all that stuff if the person that you're 
buying for is a huge Jack Daniels fan, then maybe consider like a Sinatra Select or something like that because that's a special bottle. But if they're not like a huge Jack fan, there's no reason to buy them that bottle. It's not really anything special in terms of flavor. It's more special in terms of like if you're the Jack person, you want to catch them all Pokemon style. And that's an expensive one, so most people aren't going to have bought it. This one, half the price, way more flavor, and just uh, way more readily available. You'll find them. But that's it. That's our rundown of eight great Christmas gifts for the 2021 holiday, for the whiskey drinker in your life. So let us know what you're looking for this holiday season. What do you want to be stuffed in your stocking? What is your go-to gift bottle too? And if you haven't already, hit like on the video and subscribe to the channel because we're here every week doing all kinds of stuff. We hope you have a wonderful holiday season. From the Western Wisconsin Whiskey Emporium for ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next week.